my beginning. Uh, it was very much by chance. Uh, I, I didn't know uh, uh, I would be in this way. At this time, at Parc Lage, it was the beginning of this, what they call, Como vai você, geração 80? How are you doing, eighth generation? Which is a big movement that had happened in Brazil about painting. All this cocktail of Brazilian art had been very important to me. And obviously, minimalism had been very important. Art power had been very important. You know, as a sculptor, I was interested in, generally in sculpture. I see the world as a sculpture, you know? When I began to, to do my work, Suddenly, I begin to work with the gravity. And the gravity is a problem for a sculpture. I had lived here, in this studio, uh, almost where you are recording. Uh, my kid, he was a baby, he was just in his diapers, hot like that today, maybe. And he began to, to, to crawl, crawl straight ahead in the relation to the, this geometry of this building here, this room. And suddenly, he stopped in the center of it, and he stand up. And I was looking to that, and the feeling I had when he began to stand up, all the concentration of his body was in this process. Looks like, like a Buddha, a Zen uh, movement, you know? So what I thought in that moment is that the whole weight of the world, of the civilization, of anything that could be interesting for me, was in, in himself in that moment, and he was holding it up. I went to Acre, to the Amazon forest, and I met the Unicuin people. When you meet these people, when you have these uh, sacred rituals, where you drink the ayahuasca, you get in a different level of experience, sacred for them. Everything they are talking is about happiness, uh, enjoyment, uh, blessing of the nature, the beauty of it, the light of it. It's very much about the light. When you keep speaking, oh, people are killing the other, people are doing this, showing everything that's in the news all the time, all the tragedies and everything. When you keep recycling and re-digesting and putting back, we are valorizing this, you know. Sometimes when you are in extreme moments, uh, the art can become very objective. Especially nowadays, sometimes the, uh, the politics in art becomes too direct. I think to change things, we have to work culturally deep inside of the people.